Hello everyone and welcome to SketchUp Architects training course for beginners. In this course we will go over the basics of using SketchUp. Let's go ahead and open up our application. Here in our welcome screen we will want to choose a template in which to start our drawing. Go ahead and click on the arrow next to the template. Here we will see we can choose between feet and inches or meters and several different styles as well. We want to work in feet and inches so let's go ahead and click feet and inches and click start. When we first open up SketchUp it will place us near the intersection point of our access lines. It will also place an architect in human scale in our workspace. Now let's go ahead and open up our large tool set by going to view and let's click on toolbars click on large tool set and hit close here we can see we have our large tool set and I could click and drag this wherever I want or I can double click and it will dock it to whatever side I'm nearest to so let's go ahead and double click now by default SketchUp places us in our select tool. Let's go ahead and go over this tool. Move your mouse over the architect and click once. When SketchUp highlights an object in blue like this it means that that object is a group or a component. Now I can open up this group and component by double clicking on it. Now I can select by clicking once and I can click on surfaces or lines within this group. Now to get out of this let me just hit escape and now we are out of that selection. Another way of deselecting is by clicking once to select and click once away and you will deselect whatever you are selected at the moment. Now another way we can select is by clicking and dragging our mouse. So let's click once, hold it and drag from left to right and let's completely surround the object we want to select and SketchUp will select that object. Again click once to get out of that selection and you can see that when we don't completely surround him it will not select him. Now if we go from right to left as long as we are touching uh, the object or whatever it is, it will always select it. And once to click out of that. So that's a quick run through of selecting objects with our selection tool. Now let's go over our camera options in SketchUp. In our large tool set, you will see these six icons, which are our primary camera functions. Go ahead and click on the Orbit tool. Now pick a point on your drawing and left click and hold and drag your mouse. As you can see, SketchUp will try and orbit around the point you have selected. Go ahead and release. Now let's go to our Pan tool, left click. Now move to your drawing, left click once and drag your mouse and you will see it will pan around the point you have selected. Now let's go to our zoom tool, let's click on that. Again we will left click and drag our mouse up or down and it will zoom in and out. Go ahead and let go of that button. Now zoom window will allow us to zoom in any window that we select. Let me zoom out. Zoom extents will zoom to the extent of our drawing. Just click that once. And zoom previous will zoom to the previous view or scene that we had. Now there is a much quicker way to pan and zoom around in SketchUp 
and it can all be done using your mouse and some basic buttons on your keyboard so let's go to our select tool and we will go ahead and orbit without selecting our icon by pressing and holding our scroll button now go ahead and release that now let's move your scroll button forward and back and that will allow us to zoom in and zoom out now go ahead and hold down your scroll button again and let, at the same time press shift now that takes us into our pan function and we can pan our drawing around again we pressed our scroll button once that would take us into orbit but now we're going to add shift to that and we can pan our drawing and that is how we will maneuver around in SketchUp. Practice using your mouse, practice using those commands, and let's go ahead and move on to the next lesson.